Nimrose Palace. We are, I think we're actually getting pretty close, because if you look at our, well, can't look at it now, but, oh, well, there you go. It's kind of very light, kind of can't see it, but we only have, like, one more area to go, and that's Bathra's Palace, so. I think we're getting near the end of our intro planet, our first planets, because we are stuck on Huda until we get enough credits, which, <laughs> how much does a passport cost because I almost have a thousand credits there's no way it costs that much I definitely have enough I think or you know you'd think I do which I also just got a move called flamethrower yeah got a flamethrower now baby boom hey what's that oh that's thing for me hang on welcome back I put a tracker in my package so I'd know you dropped it off I'm about to fry those eels good you were tracking me, you little cheat? Hey, I just needed to know when the package was delivered. My business is time sensitive. Here we go. Three, two, one, zap. No more eels. All that's left is for us to settle up. I think I'd do a little something extra. I see you feel strongly about this. Sure. What's a few extra credits between friends? Now your old pal Getzo can get back to doing what he does best. Making the galaxy a happy place. Here you go. Paid in full, bonus included. See you around, killer. Hmm. So we technically we got like base, branch, persuade. I got 282 credits for that mission. That's a you know for this level that's pretty good actually. So And I can't turn that in because we keep having all this junk. Freaking junk, except level nine. And we got a new stuff. That means we got like one level to go, maybe. Something like that. I'm excited. Who's this? Mistress Yalt? <gasps> oh, that's his wife. Hello, can I help? What is that? Yalt! Guess what I found out in the swamp. I'm glad this is over with. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, you are now officially the most evil person in the galaxy, Feared Angel. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. I oh, wait. Thanks. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Hello yourself. How you doing on this fine day? Hold on. Let me get my blaster out. This one time, I'll kill for free. Crazy suicidal Rodians. That's what they're called, Rodians. Right. Let's let's try it. Our whoa! She froze me. She froze me. Nobody freezes me. You know what? I'll burn you. Oh wow! That does actually a lot of damage. Holy hell! Wow. That's what they're called, the Rodians. What a name. What a name. Well, that was easy. <laughs> lol. Lol. L O L. Too easy. So you. This, is that all you got, Terrible Blood? I'll destroy anything you put in front of me. Kunchuta, 
What about the credits from my last job? I'm gonna kill your own man? Oh well, you got me a credit box. Except I can't use it. I got I need to sell some stuff, but I'm too lazy. Too freaking lazy. Alright, what did you give me? 403 credits. Damn, we're actually getting some credits now. Hell yeah. And I think I'm going to get even more whenever I talk to her. You just get more and more impressive. You'll be seeing a lot of me. Hope that's true. Here you go. Credits for the accountant. Poor little Yalt, this bossy wife. See you soon, bounty hunter. And even more. Let's see how many we get in this box. Two, oh. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Only 27? Seriously? That's like... Well, then again, I guess it was free credits, but... Only 27, huh? Kind of a rip-off, if I may say so myself. But, uh, you know. I'll shut up. So this beast man... Oh, it's like down on the ground level. Wait, is he trying to kill me? I wonder if he's going to try to, like kill me if he's gonna like plot against me maybe my whole thing's gonna be me trying to kill Nimro or something <laughs> I have no idea how do I get it? do I have to press a button yeah elevator down maybe I'm gonna face one of those big things that Anakin Skywalker faced in the the uh, third movie I think it was the third movie I don't know what that thing's even called it's been a while since I've watched the sorry the sixth movie sorry sixth movie yeah it looks exactly like it yeah, yeah, okay. This is not going to end well, is it? Am I going to get double-crossed? Actually, I don't think so. I see him in there. Hello, beast. Master, come on out. I've got a flamethrower waiting for you. You call me just like Nemro said you would. So stupid. Now I kill you and Nemro give me big reward. I think it's blasting time. You think I'm not prepared? So stupid. Free the beasts! I knew it! Freaking. Okay, he's so dead. He is so going to die. And he's going to regret ever crossing Feared Angel. Apparently he doesn't know what I can, I'm capable of. Apparently. What else you got? Oh, you got some beasts? Oh, little pups? I'm gonna kill you little pups. Look at that one shot and I'm both dead. Oh, what's this? A bone, bone shatter the ruthless? <laughs> you think I'm scared of this little thing? Watch this. Take him out. And flame him. Flesh Reaper there unkillable. <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll see if he's really unkillable. 20 bucks says he's he is killable. 20 bucks. I'm going to punch him. Punch him in the face. Kill him with a punch. A big monster like that. You're so dead, Nimro. I am so going to kill you. Oh. Oh, wait, we got him. Wait, well, first might as well take care of the Beastmaster, right? Wow, he was weak. Didn't expect him to be that weak. Wow. Okay, Nimro. I'm going to kill you whenever I get up top. You're going to die. And I'm going to be glad to do it. You know, I want to be the new Hut's Bane because I hate the Huts. I hate the slugs. And I would kill them all. Umo Mobasa, my butt. I like the little Jedi music happening right now. It's like, oh, he's so dead, so dead. He doesn't even know how dead he is. He doesn't even know. I'm going to be excited to put my blaster in his face. It's gonna be great. Actually, you know what? He's level 33. I don't think I can do that. I'm probably not even gonna get the option to. <laughs> Balls. Whatever. Whatevs. Not scared. <laughs> I'm not scared. Bring it on, Nimro. 
Ni ya pati se mo shani Chek mora chupa che nek nek Chupa noe ke nana Shak pati sa branga una nupa ye I'm gonna kill you Namro Kich kra upa utre te te janta Chiliska ta nanga ime chai jo ronchika I hear about little hunter kill spree in rust yards Oh, wala wanga, tus ehu wala wa, da blota wi jawa. No more excuses. I want into the great hunt, Nemro. Conchita ne chada so do dedi. Chilis ka chanaga wa ni chikos pa ini kudade. Nak ma noya chioski na wi kuchusu. Yo mata chitoya. Ni ompi bud malia bedwanga ni bopo, che chopaguma. Chubanoe ke nana, shak kisa branga una nupa ye. I'll be back to deal with you, Hut. Ninga ninga ki tuita, ni mo ta muv ayola, tan kwe kuta. Chuba ki ma gardo, brok ful ma bumko, i chubano bata. Ye kumba jiji, kuanting. Noli Makichi-san! I hate Hut so much. It's not even funny. I want him dead. Just give me the option. You know, at the end of my storyline, I better get the option to kill him. That would be like the best... That would be like the best in quest ever. Oh, I can't wait. I got a big, like, suit now. I like it. Heavy armor looks good. Nice to see you alive and well. That was really rotten what Nimro did to you. One day he'll pay for crossing me. Maybe that's exactly what these credits are for. I've got a very large payment here for you, but it doesn't say what for. Apparently that's between you and Nimro. Another day, another bloodstain. Here you go. One large payment for mysterious reasons. Don't spend it all in one place. Hey, Hunter, we've been had. Nemro's already sponsored someone for the Great Hunt. That's old news, Mako. Yeah? Well, I bet you don't know who it is, though. I know who got Nemro's sponsorship token and how to find him. I'll tell you everything, but I've got a price. I saw this coming a long way off. Yeah, I'll bet you did. Braden taught me how to fight, and you know I'm great with information. Take me with you, on this hunt and whatever comes after. I think we'll have a lot of fun. I, I'm good with a blaster, and, and Brayden was like a father to me. It's not fair that... Wait, did you just say yes? Thank you. Brayden was sweet, but he always treated me like a child. I'm not a child, so thank you. I want to be there when we find Brayden's killer. I want that more than anything. So let's go find Nimro's bounty hunter. My trigger finger needs some exercise. Good. You're about to get plenty of it. The hunter we're after is named Rarsk. He's a Trandoshan and serious bad news. Burned a whole village alive on Dantooine. I intercepted a transmission between the Trandoshan and, get this, the bone-faced freak who was following me. Remember me warning you about him? Just tell me where we're going. Rars is collecting on a bounty fought through the hut Nimra's rival is holding for him. A Republic scientist or something. All we have to do is break into Fathra's ridiculously well-guarded palace in the swamp, find the scientist ourselves, and set a trap for Rarsk. And when Rarsk shows... We take his sponsorship token. Good plan. You haven't seen anything yet. Turns out Farther keeps interesting people on his payroll, and by interesting, I mean they have prices on their heads. If we want to seriously compete in the Great Hunt, or even get off this mud ball, we need the extra credits from these bounties. Come on, Farther's palace is waiting. Well, we got our first companion. Now, Hello. each... Okay, now, companions... I'm going to have to explain this a little bit. Okay, so there's... Each class, I think, has around... I think it's like five companions they get through all the way from 1 through 50. And then I think you might get one in the new expansion. I'm not really sure. Um, and then you can buy some new ones. I think the, the newest one they have is an Ewok. You can buy those off the Hut Cartel. But you have five base ones. And each one has their different skills, like... I think 
each one has like a tank. There's like a shooting one, a healing one, um, maybe like a melee character and whatnot. They each they all have their different skills. I know Mako is because my friend, I helped him level up, and she is a uh, she is a healer. So she's going to be my healer, and I don't know if she heals really good. It says, it says like 81 or 88. I don't know how good she heals, but I guess we'll have to see for ourselves. Um, and then you have like tank classes where they can like hold aggro for you so you don't get attacked. And like other characters, some damage characters. But also, basically, well, we'll have to explain that later, but um, I'll explain that later. Um, basically, you can like send them to sell your stuff for you, and you can make them go get things, and you can send them on their own missions to bring you back goods like treasures and like or, it, like professions. Okay, I'll explain that all later. It's all very confusing, but still really cool. I'm excited. I got a healing companion. Get at me. Hey, you. I understand you've been working for Nimro. I mean, I've seen you coming in and out of this place often enough. So am I right or am I wrong? Are you working for the big guy? We all do what we have to. Times are tough. Hey, most people don't have a choice, but that's the big guy for you. Name's Urkrek. You might have heard about the Nemro's little menagerie and the beast pens down beneath. I'm the guy who keeps the beast pens stocked. Rogers might be interested in a little business proposition. Help me, help Nemro, help yourself a little in the process. But it'll take strength and guts. Works for me. The big guy wants a rancor. All the big time huts have them. Nemro wants one. You're gonna get him one. Now I know you're thinking, a rancor? How's somebody gonna snare a rancor? Seven meters tall, capable of swallowing a person in a single gulp. But don't you worry. I got it all figured out. I don't like where this is going. Stick with me here. Fathra's no good beast tame has already procured a ranker egg. Now we can't have that egg hatching and Fathra getting a full grown ranker before Nemro. I need someone to steal that egg and destroy the eggs of his other creatures. Teach that beast tamer a lesson. Can you handle it? It shouldn't be a problem. Great. I thought you'd go for it. You have that talent glint in your eye. There's just uh, one more little thing you should know. The egg is in the back of Vathra's beast chambers. Meaning, you'll have to do a bit of fighting to get it. But nothing you can't handle, right? Good luck. Okay. I should also explain something you might have noticed that Mako popped up there in a little bit. Now, you can fully customize them and uh, put their armor on as well, as well, and like do things for them as well, and like equip them and whatnot. But you can also um, get their affection all the way up. And certain characters, you can actually have romances in the game with your companions and whatnot. And like, if you have two, <laughs> if you have two like com people who can fall in love with you, you can have like a battle between them and like cool little companion storylines and whatnot and it's really it's actually really cool I like it a lot um, and to get affection you have you either have to have them in your party and like choose the right thing they'd say in a quest or you have to go farm gifts um, and uh, you give really them full of to whoever I mean for an underhanded gluttonous backstabbing slob who'd have thought his palace could be so clean but uh, yeah and I'll explain the other things with the companions more, but uh, they're really cool. They're like it's basically like kind of like Mass Effect because it's the same people who made it, just you can't have more than one at a time. It's just like, one person to help you, basically. So we have to go really far. We have to go all the way to freaking Fathos Palace. So I will meet you guys there. Oh wait, hang on. We have another quest over here from a dude, Burnock. Wow, well, he's probably gonna want us to go to Fathos Palace as well, right? Hey, you there? You look like my kind of person, if you know what I mean. You're not exactly my type. <laughs> if your gunnery's as good as your wit, we'll be in business then. I have a little job that needs doing with a big reward for the doer. My buddy's been taken captive seat, and I'm looking to buy a rescue. My buddy Oren's a world-class Mandalorian Jedi killer. He went into Fathra's on a county, heard the hut was hoarding some kind of treasure. But he ended up frozen in carbonite and hanging as a trophy on Father's wall. I was hoping you could help him down. Oh, that crazy hut. Such a prankster. 
A double-crosser, more like. It was Fathra's own lieutenant who told Dorn about the treasure. Regular trap, but what's done's done. I expect he's hanging in Fathra's gallery. Unfortunately, something about being frozen like my buddy's been makes you lose your sight for a spell. But you just thaw him out, and I'll come in after you clear the path. I'm not exactly a fighter, see, but my buddy's sickness isn't your problem. Deal? I could use the credits. Great, thanks. And try to be stealthy about it. No sense getting all of Fathra's guards breathing down our necks. Good luck. <laughs> you, I guess you just don't know me, but uh, I'm not stealthy. Sorry to uh, disappoint you, sir. But uh, stealth is not in my nature. Okay, just thought I'd put that out there.